The very first thing I need to do is set up better metering. I want to insert meters as audio plugins, so I'm going to start with the track mixer, which is Shift 6. This little triangle opens up my tracks to show inserts and sends. I'm not talking about sends today, but inserts are where I add my effects, real-time effects that play on the track and not attached to any particular clips. This is my master. I'm going to go Waves, Duro Stereo. So I double-click my Duro's meter. There's this little button that says Targeted. Clicking that allows your plugin to stay on the screen. I'm also going to open up the Loudness Radar, which is under Special. It's called Loudness Radar. Of course, I double-click that also. And I also put that in Targeted. Let's watch a little and see what shows on those meters. This is telling me I have a peak problem. This is telling me I have a peak problem. This is telling me I have a peak problem. So one step is to address my peaks. I still have a bad mix because you can't hear any of this. The music is too loud, but we'll deal with all that in a minute. Just getting an idea of where we are, our LKFS is minus 11.6, which is about what I would guess by looking at this. The Dro is in the minus 10 to minus 12 range for average level. The peak meter doesn't tell you anything about it. Now before I move on to controlling my levels, I want to bring up one more meter from Waves. This is called the Waves Loudness Meter. Instead of my target being minus 24, I'm going to change it to minus 18 because this mix is for the web. Before I get too far into my average level and my actual mix, let's just go ahead and control those peaks. So I'm going to put a limiter in there. Let's use this multiband compressor that comes with Premiere, which has a limiter in it. I'm going to bypass the four bands of compression for now, so we're not even going to look at those. We're just going to look at this limiter section. This is the broadcast preset, which comes up as a really nice little default, but not necessarily for us right now because our levels are way too high and this will just squash it and uh, that's not good. But pretty nice overall, except for this limiter. The limiter comes up with a threshold of minus 10 and a margin of minus 0.1. What that is saying is, take my content that's currently at minus 10 and push it up to minus 0.1 and don't allow anything over that. This is not going to help our mix at all since it's already too loud and this would push it up almost 10 dB. What I'm gonna shoot for is basically just a normal limiter at about minus three which should keep us safe. All right, so I need to lower my music in particular. The music is just a little too much but if I lower it too far then of course it'll be weak and so I wanna keep it strong but I just need to bring it down a little bit. There are a few different ways to do that. One is at the clip level, and one is at the track level. Whatever you do on the track will affect everything on that track. So let's take our music down about 6 dB, 6.2. A few of the sound bites were a bit loud, so we're going to take them down at the clip level. Let's separate this, and then I'm just gonna take this clip down. You can see from the waveform that these right here are a little bit hotter. We're going to take this whole section and pull it up just a little bit. We're going to want the music to come down as soon as they start talking. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to put a keyframe here and another right here. And take this down about 4 dB. I'm the chef and owner of High Road Ice Cream here in Atlanta, Georgia. The second you see a hint of smoke, see that? We make over 130,000 gallons of ice spec that demand the unusual, and they want it now. We make an ice cream with sweet cold, and it is so delicious. It's like you can just put it on a piece of bread inside. <laughs> <laughs> this is not your typical ice cream. We finished up at 18.0. I think that's great. Those are good levels.